hello and welcome to a new video in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to a CentOS uh, 7 machine from Windows using the RDP protocol XRDP is an open source implementation of the uh, Microsoft RDP that allows you to graphically control your uh, system with RDP you can log into the remote uh, machine the same as you had logged into the local machine it uses the port uh, 3389 uh, to establish the connection if you don't have a, a graphical uh, environment in your remote uh, machine or remote server so the first thing you need to do is install a graphical environment for me as you can see here i do have a mate uh, gui a mate uh, desktop on my centos 7 machine so i'm going to uh, log in going to open a terminal so if you don't have a GUI environment there are many ways with which you can install a uh, desktop environment one way is to run this command dnf uh, group install and then between double quotes server with GUI and the reason we have to use double quotes here is because the uh, package name uh, contains spaces so this is one way you can install a desktop environment once you have a desktop environment installed you need to enable the IPEL release and the IPEL stands for uh, enterprise pack, uh, extra packages for enterprise Linux so it's a repository that you enable to allow you to install uh, some uh, extra packages on, on your uh, Linux machine so the command to enable it is dnf install ipel release and i don't have dnf command on my machine so i i have yum so i can use yum and of course it's telling me that i have to be root to perform this operation so I'm just going to add sudo here and then type in my password and the IPEL release repository is going to be enabled once the IPEL release repository is enabled I'm going to clear my screen here the next thing to do is install the XRDP protocol or the XRDP package so I'm going to do sudo yum install XRDP hit enter I'm getting prompted here to confirm the installation of this package I'm going to say yes and the installation of the XRDP protocol has finished I'm going to clear my screen so control L the next thing to do is enable the XRDP <coughs> uh, package so how to do that system CTL enable XRDP 
and I'm going to do this as a sudo hit enter now I'm going to start the XRDP service so instead of enable I'm going to type here start and then I'm going to check the status of this service if it's running or not so type systemctl status xrdp and hit enter and as you can see it is active and running you can also verify that xrdp service uh, is running by using the following command netstat dash atmp space pipe grep 3389 and as you can see uh, it is listening on port 3389 uh, sorry I have to, to be root here so I'm going to do sudo and yes so it's saying that it is this is XRDP next you need to be aware where the configuration file for the XRDP uh, service is located by default you do not have to change anything in this configuration file if you want to view this uh, file you can use the following command sudo uh, vim slash or forward slash etc forward slash xrdp forward slash xrdp dot ini and this is the configuration file so as you can see the the port that it is using is 3389 you can change it if you want to and there are some configuration settings here as you can see here the default log file is xrdp.log I'm not going to change anything for the moment in this file I just wanted you to I wanted to show you where it is located and how to open it so I'm going to type colon X to exit clear my screen if you have changed anything in the configuration file of the XRDP service you ha you'd have to restart it to uh, allow the kernel to take those changes into consideration and you can do it using this command system ctl restart xrdp and then again change uh, check the status of the service and it is running next of course you would have to uh, allow the port 3389 used by xrdp service through the firewall and you can do it using the following command clear my screen firewall dash cmd and then space dash dash add port equals 3389 forward slash tcp and then dash dash per mint then hit enter and I assume I would have to be a sudoer to do this I think I shouldn't have spaces here between add port and 3389 let's try again and success so I have successfully allowed the port 3389 through the firewall.
So now I have to uh, reload my changes. And you can do it like this. And have and I have successfully reloaded, reloaded my firewall rules. I'm going to clear my screen here. Next, I'm going to configure SE Linux for the XRDP service using the following commands. So sudo check on type equals bin underscore t space forward slash usr forward slash s bin forward slash xr dp and then for the xr dp dash says man okay that's it for the uh, se linux configuration now we are going to test the connection from windows of course so i'm going to open windows remote desktop client and try to connect to this uh, ser uh, linux server using the ip address of the server so first thing i need to do is uh, find out what is the ip address of this machine so i can use this command ip space a ADDR hit enter so the IP address used by this machine is 192.168.1.43 so let me bring here my uh, remote desktop client and put here the IP address of my server which is 43 and then hit connect when I hit connect I get warning about the identity of the remote computer uh, so the tool is telling me that the, its identi identity cannot be verified but I'm going to ignore this uh, warning and when I click yes I get this window so Basically here I'm getting prompted for the uh, username and password to use in order to log in to the CentOS machine. So I'm going to use my username here and click OK. And I am unable to uh, log in uh, remotely to my CentOS 7 server so I'm going to run the following commands to, to fix the issue so I'm going to clear my screen and do this echo mate session and send this to uh, this file x clients and then do chmod a plus x x clients and then let's go ahead and try to connect again let's connect as root and now I am able to connect remotely to my uh, CentOS 7 server so, so this is the same server okay So this is the end of this tutorial in which I showed you how to connect to a CentOS 7 uh, machine using a, a Windows RDP protocol and our CentOS, CentOS 7 machine had a mate desktop. Thank you for watching.